What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Eat Explore Hunt. Coyote hunting again. This time I'm sitting on the ground. I'm a lot closer to where these coyotes are coming into this pasture. We just recently finished doing hay for the year. And if you haven't been watching my channel, haven't been following along, I broke my tripod like a week and a half ago. And UPS screwed it up and didn't send me my first one I ordered. But it was a blessing in disguise because I decided to just spend a little extra money and buy a higher quality tripod. This thing is awesome. It is so maneuverable. It's pretty heavy. So, depending on my turkey tour for 2020, it might get a little tiresome, you know, carrying around a heavier tripod. But this thing is so awesome. It can go really low and it can also be taller than I am so it's a very very nice camera it's got a 360 swivel head on it so it can actually if my legs aren't in the right position I can actually just adjust the head a little bit and make it right but tonight I'm gonna make some predator calls I'm sitting in this 14 acre hay field and I have about a hundred yard shot to where those coyotes have been coming into this field. And if they decide to come from behind me, I have a second camera. I have my GoPro mounted to the tripod leg facing me at all times. So, a couple cameras, a couple batteries to go with them. I brought just the one predator call. We got just under two hours. Two hours to sit. One thing I'm already seeing about this field, doves. Ever since we did this last cut, when I walked out here, there's 50 of them, at least 50. 50 of them all out in this cut hay field. And on the power lines, there's four of them right here. Two within shooting range already. But I, you know, they've all busted when I walked out here. So maybe tomorrow if I can convince my wife to run a camera for me maybe we'll do a little dove catch and cook I've never I've never eaten a dove so we're gonna sit here I'm gonna be quiet I'm gonna hit this noisy annoying predator call and I'm gonna watch these doves fly in here they're giving me all sorts of cooking ideas and recipes And maybe, just maybe, tonight's the night. Stay tuned. There's a coyote right over the hill there. I can't see him, I just saw it.
Oh, it's right here, it's right here. I think I shot just over him. Oh man, gosh dang it. Oh. He surprised me. He came from the hardwoods. Man, I lost him. I lost him over the rise. There's a slight rise over here in the direction I'm facing. I was expecting him to come from, from the east. And he came from the north and I caught him out of the corner of my eye while I was watching to the east. Dad, gone it. I had to have missed him. I'm, I'm using 30 out six. If I would have smoked him out there, he would have he would have been done. Dang. The second shot I took was literally just a hope and a prayer. Had an opportunity, guys. So like I was saying, he was just over that rise. And I was kind of expecting him to follow, keep following the tree line and give me a shot at about 80 yards. Next thing I know, he pops up at about 40 yards and I just was, I was not ready for him to be where he was. And I, I just flat out missed. So that's on me. My adrenaline was pumping. I had an opportunity and I, I just flat out blew it, guys. <sighs> Dang. It, that, that coyote, and I couldn't touch the camera. <laughs> After my first shot, that coyote came running right at me. He ran by me at five yards. At five yards, I just turned and shot I didn't even have a, a chance I I just missed him I think I shot over him the first shot because this gun is shooting a little bit high it's meant to shoot at longer ranges I, I believe I shot just over the top of him and then when he ran right by me right here I just threw around at him and I came close but I screwed it up. <sighs> Had no idea where I was. Because after that first shot, he ran right at me. beautiful sunset I can hardly see with my with my eyes I mean on camera you can still see pretty well actually but with my eyes I just it is so dark with the hardwoods as a backdrop I just barely caught him caught a glimpse of him and I missed my shot man I'm not, I'm not even embarrassed that I missed. You know, I'm, I'm not embarrassed. Everybody misses. I, I rushed my shot, I think. GoPro, I believe the GoPro's on. Yeah, GoPro's running. Maybe the GoPro will show me something. Maybe I, maybe I flinched. I, I don't know, I just, I missed. 
I think I said in my first coyote hunting video that this gun is shooting about two inches high at 75 yards. And I tried to aim low, but if I flinched, you know, I flinched and missed. But had I hit that coyote, it, it wouldn't have ran at all. These 30 out six rounds are so powerful, especially for a coyote. No way that dog would have been running the way he was running, ran right by me. I missed an opportunity, a very good opportunity. That, that coyote was barely moving on my first shot. My second shot, he was full sprint and I missed. You know, it happens, it's hunting, but I gotta be better. That's why I'm putting in the hours now. Here it is, middle of September, we're almost to deer season. You don't get too many opportunities to kill a coyote in the daylight. And I say daylight when it's dark, you know. But without using lights, I'm using mouth calls, hand calls. I don't have a, a fancy calling system. So, you know, I have to do all that. And it might not seem like much, but when you're sitting there blowing on a call for several minutes at a time, it's... It's tiresome, it's annoying, it just kind of sucks. You know, I, I blew a great opportunity and I'm, I'm disappointed. Like I said, gotta be better. But I know I can kill them. I just had an opportunity at one. Come trapping season, I'm gonna have a, a bunch of sets out, I think. It'll be my first time trapping in over a decade. But, man. I can't get over that. That dog ran right by me and I missed. I missed twice. But, oh, I can't even see hardly now out of this light. I just choked it. Make sure my safety's on. Oh. Well guys, thanks for coming along with me. You guys have the advantage, you know. I'm getting chewed up by the mosquitoes right now. Chewed up and spat back out. I'm getting eaten alive. I'll review the footage and and look, but I know I missed, like I said, multiple times, because I'm rambling. My adrenaline's just now starting to come down. But had I hit, had I hit, it would have gone straight down. He didn't look like he was limping or nothing when he was running. He was running full speed. But anyways, I'll take a quick look on my way out. If I, if for some reason I did hit him and he's down over here, I'll show you guys. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I apologize that I choked the situation. I choked the shot. Second shot was a hope and a prayer, and it was pretty dang close. Shot right underneath of him, right here at five yards. And I missed, missed two eat. Well, I missed one easy shot, and I missed a, a running shot. And I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm very thankful to have y'all along with me. I was thankful to have an opportunity, even though it was squandered. I'm still very thankful for it. I'm gonna pack up my junk. I'm going to head in. Thank you all so much for watching the Explore Hunt. Hope you guys have a good one. If you like these coyote hunting videos, keep joining me. Keep watching. Comment. Some words of encouragement would be a little bit nice. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one.